Hey there, Leo Virgo. Welcome to your reading. So today we have a message for you from the universe. Uh, keep in mind that this could be about career, could be about love. Take it out where it resonates and leave what doesn't, obviously. This is a general one. So if it doesn't resonate at all, you may want to check out your individual signs. Uh, there may be some messages for you there, but if it does, don't forget to smash like button for me and do subscribe if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you want to dive deeper into this reading, the link is going to be down below for that. We do have a code going on until Monday. Um, and yeah, follow me on Instagram. That's it. <laughs> so let's pull some shells and let's get started. Ooh, ooh, interesting combination right here. Okay, uh, for some of you, there is a message here of like, uh, there are two things. The first one is that you may be being a little bit of a workaholic, so be careful about that. But I don't think it's that big of a deal in the sense of, I don't think you're at the edge of a burnout, you know? I feel like you are finding a good balance, but make sure that the balance is there, you know? Because um, sometimes we may forget. And I feel like especially with that earth energy of the Virgo and the perfectionism side as well, it can be really... We, we can forget we can forget that we need to rest you know we can forget that you know you kind of need some space you know you kind of need to drink a little bit of water you know it's simple stuff like that but uh i do feel like the balance is there right now it's just like it's mainly a message of keep the balance there you know um another thing and that i feel like it's the main reason of the whole reading is that i feel like you've been working your ass off i feel like you've been really putting in the effort and doing everything in your power to make something happen, a project, an idea. Maybe it is about a relationship, um, but with this shell right here, this one as well, I feel like there's a lot of career energy here. And I'm here to tell you that money is coming, okay? And I'm here to tell you that your hard work is paying off, your efforts are being seen, okay? I, I absolutely love this shell right here in this reading. This is Jupiter energy, and um, this is all about expansion. This is all about growth, and I feel like you're gonna see like this boom in your career, and maybe some promotions are coming in, um, new job opportunities if you've been looking for it. Uh, you know, it's just like things are gonna start flowing like crazy, and especially with this one, this is about getting out of a bad situation. So if things have been heavy, if you really have been trying to do your best, but it, felt like it felt a little bit impossible this is it okay and where is the key for that growth because it's not happening just we do have jupiter which is like good luck but it's not happening just because and yes it is due to your hard work but uh there's this thing of passion and intuition so i almost feel like whatever we're dealing here with whatever we're talking about, this is spiritual path, okay, this is, um, if this is about love, it could be a relationship leveling up to the next, um, next stage of the relationship and finding balance if it has been a little bit difficult, but um, it's, if it is love, it is a big soulmate, okay, it's a very important person in your life, in your spiritual path, but overall, this is part of your path, okay, this is part of your um destiny and ascension and leveling up and with this here it's about following your passion okay so don't think too much about money and about what will i don't know like what are the things that other people are going to like or something like that it's nothing about that okay it's about you it's a lot about you okay what makes you happy what makes you feel good okay so use that but good things are coming okay leo virgo good things are coming let's see what we have all paths lead home look at that turn your gaze within intuition that's what i'm telling you it's like it, it's really up to you no one can tell you um what is working because it's really up to you it's really up to you to follow your inner guidance here and with this earth it it's again you i feel like you have been learning some really tough lessons possibly about patience because uh, with that Jupiter energy, it's reminding me of the temperance card. So I really feel like divine timing has been a thing here. And your Virgo side probably has been a little bit challenged with that. 
It's like, bro, but I want to I wanna know if the plan is working out. I want to know if this is a long-term relationship. I want to know if this is going to go places, you know? And I feel like divine timing really has been working out here. And it's almost like it's telling you, be uh, know that you are protected. You know, you are protected. And we also have here Earth School and Deep Cellular Healing. So again, Earth School, there's nothing like life lessons. It's literally there. Soul growth. And it's also talking about like how this is part of your path and you're really ascending here. And we also have study and higher learning. So that may be a specific message for someone out there that if you are, for example, trying to apply to an internship, if you're trying to apply to um, a college or something or to like a course, online course, you are getting in and that is really going to be the path because I feel like you're really motivated towards it and you're really committed to to it you know and it aligns so it's all working out and with this deeper deep cellular healing i really feel like there were some things that you kind of needed to to heal especially attached to that life lessons there were some things that you needed to understand about yourself understand about your path possibly those workaholic issues you know finding that balance and now that you're finding it boom you get it and um, it could also be about that thing of the perfectionism, okay? Um, and we're talking a lot about Virgo. And when it comes to the Leo side, maybe it, it's not really showing up here. So I don't really feel like it was an issue. But for some of you, it could be a little bit, um, you could be afraid of being seen. You know, you could want a promotion, but that would imply that people will see you. That would imply that people will recognize you. And if your Leo side was not really balanced, if you were afraid of that Leo side, then that was definitely a block. The thing is, I'm talking about all of this, but I feel like you're doing it. <laughs> I feel like you're healing it. I feel like you're really at this edge of just like a new chapter, you know? And it feels really, really good. If this is about love, it could be, for example, codependency, trust issues, um, especially, especially with that Taurus energy there of the prosperity, maybe trust issues and this earth it here as well. Um, oh, look at that. <laughs> this is awesome. Worth waiting for. Divine timing. Is that working in your love life? I told you. Um, not only love life, but I do feel like you are healing a lot. And this relationship, again, there could have been, or just your love life overall, maybe it was a little bit tough. Maybe you were dealing with a lot of players, with a lot of people that did not want commitment. And because you've been healing and because you've been taking good care of yourself, following your intuition and just, you know, being truthful to yourself, you're getting this beautiful soulmate. Or uh, if you're already in a relationship, you are um, getting to a higher level of commitment. OK, so we have here deception. You deserve love. Let's get one more here. Ooh, yeah. Leg of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So again, this is basically a confirmation of what we were saying. I feel like for some of you, maybe there was also this thing of not being good enough, especially if we're talking about both, if we're talking about love, if we're talking about career, um, there was this thing of, I don't know enough. Maybe I don't have like the college degree to like pursue this career or something. Uh, or I like I didn't go to art school, so how can I be uh, an artist? And it's nothing related with that. You have a voice and you have something that deserves to be heard. And that's where the Leo comes in. It's about you not being afraid to share that voice, to share that vision, to share that perspective, okay? And um, the Virgo side, it's uh, very related with that thing of not being good enough. And also, we were just talking about like um, players, you dealing with players. I feel like you in the past, you have been dealing with a lot of manipulative people, people that did not have your best intention at heart. And I feel like you have been transforming and healing that and really getting into this place of self-worth, really getting into this place of, bro, I know what I deserve. And if you can give me that, then you can just freaking move out, you know? And I feel like that is very, very powerful. So, ooh, okay. Let's see. What do we have for my Leo Virgos? Let's pull some tarot here into the picture. We have eight of wands. Ooh, look at that. Look at those things moving forward. 
five of wands i also feel like that was about like expectations we have the ten ones over there let's get two more Ooh, oh goodness okay so let's see what we have here so we do have the knight of pentacles actually feel like it's the other way around or no it's like this knight of pentacles and two of pentacles oh we like it okay and over here all these cards fell out but we do have the world queen of wands yeah i feel like this is really talking about the things that we were just discussing so queen of wands five of swords so i feel like you were dealing with a lot of drama possibly a relationship ended and that person didn't take it well or um like you went in a relationship where you went to a different part and that different part it wasn't that different from the people you were you were used to deal with so it's like you broke up with someone and then the people you were dealing with afterwards was they were still the same type of people with full of drama lying manipulating only wanting uh fun times and stuff and i feel like there was a moment here possibly around scorpio season we do have this tower but it doesn't have to be where i feel like your ship kind of shifted you know you kind of replaced the ship the ship and you're like no you know what i'm gonna focus on me myself and i and i'm gonna do the things that motivate me this could be a lot of people like trying to uh make you work more and your motivation and creativity were like not there and i feel like you were from this point forward you were really focusing on your own independence you were really focusing on you and that is bringing the six of wands success okay and true beautiful partnership especially with this three of pentacles this is someone that wants to work with you this is someone that wants to commit a relationship with you okay this is someone that is not playing around and i feel like that is sort of what's happening here so eight of wands five of wands ten of wands i feel like there is a lot of burdens that i feel like you're currently on the process of releasing and healing right like we have been discussing but um there's that thing of like five of ones a lot of possibly competition maybe you comparing yourself to other people and a lot of people trying to get your attention that did not deserve your attention at all and possibly you talking to a lot of people and just i feel like you were just working and doing and achieving and like going for it and moving 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 and it never really felt good you know it felt like there's something better than this you know i know there's something better than this and that is what you're receiving so i feel like things have been really really fast really really slow but it is to make sure that you are on a good place with yourself and now that you are moving slow and you're not afraid to move slow because i feel like you came into an understanding of you know it's not always about working it's not always about moving the relationship super fast it's not always about meeting new people every monday um i feel like you became okay with divine timing i feel like you became okay with waiting and because of it your life is about to get crazy <laughs> two of pentacles i even feel like for some of you you could have several options here good options i do feel like they are good options let me actually get some more information around this two of pentacles by um a lot of work coming in you know there could be a lot of things requiring your attention but i feel like it's in a good way because i feel like this is what you've been waiting for and that's why the reminder full circle right here that's why the reminder in the beginning of like you need to seek the balance it's not only about trusting yourself you need to remind yourself hey have you rested today you know you need to remind yourself to be balanced because i really feel like things are about to get a little bit crazy here let's try and get some more information around this two of pentacles queen of wands what can you tell us look at that empress and page of swords i feel like there's one more oh there is oh look at that two cups and lovers jesus so i do feel like they are both good people if we're talking about um people here if we're talking about love they're both good offers if we're talking about career however there is one that is it okay there is one that really aligns with you and i feel like there is a lot of passion i feel like one of them could really look very like like very sparkly 
and deep down it may not be like that and the other one i feel like it's also a little bit sneaky so you really have to lean on your intuition with this okay you really have to listen to yourself because i mean you have this beautiful relationship you have this beautiful opportunity here but there is one that maybe is a little bit sparkly and inside it's like uh, but it is also good but the other one could be very small and very maybe a little bit sneaky maybe there are not necessarily lies but some secrets and because with this shell right here this is also about secrets coming out but it could also have a beautiful um path moving forward okay and that you can only make this decision with you okay there's no one that can tell you not even me um that can tell you like which one is the best you have to move with your intuition okay and you have to put the past aside okay the past is in the past you're not dealing with the same type of people let's try and get some more information because i really want to try and help you out with the decision as much as i can oh wow yeah king of wands wow um so i feel like you know i feel like this sparkly one i mean you have queen of wands and king of wands it could feel sparkly because i feel like the sexual tension is so big and you may feel like oh it's just sexual tension like there's nothing committed there and i actually feel like there could be something really good um coming from that okay the other one i do feel like it's sneaky i do feel like it starts really small and it's like a little thing there and a little thing there and a little thing there and it's like you deserve more you know you deserve someone who is not afraid to commit to you who is not afraid to um fully invest in you and i feel like this king of wands queen of wands this situation here it's not afraid of that if this is about career then it's basically the same thing there is one that is probably going to give you the details like one time at a time you know one thing at a time and the other one may be presenting themselves as like this is the best opportunity of your life and it may actually be <laughs> you know but uh go with your gut okay go with your intuition because that is going to be your biggest guide go crazy Ooh. be careful something is wrong here oh look at that yeah something needs to end we also have be grateful all right ah, look at that follow your intuition see i'm not wrong keep an open mind wake up and go now and expect the unexpected so i really feel like there's like movement don't be afraid to move you know and also if you're for example self-employed or something there could be a project that you want to start that really revolves around passion remember passion and intuition that is the key go towards passion okay go towards passion because um like stability and commitment is something that can be built if um if you really commit to it and you if you really feel like something good could turn out from that go for it okay because uh, again because you were dealing with so many players and so many people manipulating you i feel like that ship is still there a little bit that fear is still a little bit there and so it's like this person comes in and it's very sexual um you could feel like oh okay this is just another player this is just another another thing and i honestly don't think that it is it could start that way but i honestly don't think that it is so move with your heart move with your passion move with your intuition and you will be good okay also be grateful for all the opportunities that show up because i really feel like you're going to receive a lot of stuff okay and keep an, an open mind about how things move let go of control right allow the situation to unfold naturally divine timing just trust okay i feel like you kind of need to go blindly um with your intuition and with your trust in the universe i feel like that is going to be the biggest thing and it may scare your virgo side especially okay <laughs> look at that <laughs> divine timing have patience we communicate through signs so pay attention to them have faith you'll make it oh look at that one 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 new beginnings we also have here six 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 which is about balance okay 
it is also like um, it can be seen as um, the number of the devil, right? But in this case, I honestly don't think that it is, you know. Uh, follow what doesn't make sense. Follow your intuition. Uh, you are on the right path. Don't stop. I'm supporting. Oh, I just, I'm supporting you through every step of the way. Uh, through every step you take. Don't think. Okay. It's really just go with the flow. Be wild. Be crazy. Just do whatever you feel like doing. Okay. That is going to be the biggest key here. So let's put some timing to finish this off. In the near future, we also have next week. Well, that's fast. The time is now act <laughs> clearly fast in a few days. Look at that. Uh, in a few years and summer. So this could have been something that started in summer or you kind of had the idea for um, of that during summer. Uh, if you are in the southern hemisphere, then summer is coming up, right? But um, Take a look also take a look at the lessons you've learned during summer that is a message that's also coming through but uh with this thing of like in a few years i really feel like whatever you're stepping into whatever new beginning is showing up it's committed okay it's from this to like at least in a few years you know and a few years is very like open <laughs> so uh yeah but it's happening really damn soon okay Man, you got this. This is really exciting. So I hope it resonated. Hope it helped. Hope it um, brought a little bit of clarity. And if it did, don't forget to smash the like button and to subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to dive a little deeper into this, the link is going to be down below. And that is it. So I wish you the freaking best. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.